Will NASA's Chandrayaan mission be successful this time? To answer that, we need to revisit the past. Just a month ago, NASA attempted to make a lunar landing with a spacecraft named Peregrine. This mission, however, did not go as planned. Peregrine was developed by a Pittsburgh-based company known as Astrobotic Technology, with funding from NASA. But despite the meticulous planning and the high hopes that went into this project, the mission was unsuccessful. The details of the failed mission are a bit disheartening. Just hours after Peregrine was launched, it was clear that something had gone wrong. The mission, which was intended to mark a triumphant return to the moon, ended in failure. Peregrine, instead of landing on the lunar surface, ended up burning up in the Earth's atmosphere. This marked a major setback, not just for astrobotic technology, but for NASA and space exploration enthusiasts worldwide. But what led to the failure of the Peregrine mission? The answer is not entirely clear. Space missions are complex undertakings, and even the smallest miscalculation or technical glitch can have catastrophic results. And in the case of Peregrine, it seems that something just didn't go according to plan. Despite this setback though, it's important to remember that failure is often a stepping stone to success, especially in the field of space exploration. NASA in particular has a history of learning from its missteps, and this failed mission is no exception. Despite this setback, NASA continues to fund private companies in their lunar endeavors. Why? Because the quest to explore the moon and beyond is far from over. There's so much we still don't know about our lunar neighbor, and each new mission brings us one step closer to unlocking its secrets. So, while the Peregrine mission may have ended in failure, it's far from the end of the story. In fact, it might just be the beginning. Now, NASA is banking on a new mission, one named Odysseus. This spacecraft, the product of a different private company, is set to launch on the reliable SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The Falcon 9, a veteran in the field of space exploration, is tasked with the critical job of taking Odysseus into an elliptical orbit that extends about 380,000 kilometers around our home planet Earth. The CEO of Intuitive Machines, the company behind Odysseus, Stephen Altimus, assures us that this mission will be a swift one. Once Odysseus separates from the Falcon 9 in Earth's orbit, it will propel itself forward using an onboard engine. Its destination? The lunar surface, a place that has intrigued and beckoned humans for generations. The journey, although vast, is expected to be completed within 10 days. Mark your calendars for February 22nd. That's when Odysseus will attempt its crucial landing. If all goes well, this day will be etched in the annals of space exploration history. Why, you ask? Well, this mission carries a weight of significance. If successful, Odysseus will become the first American spacecraft to touch down on the moon since the iconic Apollo 17 mission way back in 1972. That's over 50 years ago. This fact alone tells us how monumental an achievement it would be for Odysseus to land successfully. But let's not forget the recent past. Just a month ago, another lander named Peregrine developed by astrobotic technology, failed in its mission. It burned up in the Earth's atmosphere, mere days after the mission's failure was announced. This makes the stakes even higher for Odysseus. It carries the hopes of a nation, the aspirations of a generation, and the dreams of all those who believe in the limitless possibilities of space exploration. So as we await the launch of Odysseus, let's remember what's at stake here. The stakes are high for Odysseus as it aims to be the first American spacecraft to reach the moon since 1972. Let's hope that this new hope becomes a new milestone in our journey to the stars. NASA's partnerships with private companies aren't random, they're part of a larger initiative known as the Commercial Lunar Payload Service, or CLPS. This innovative program is a collaborative effort between NASA and private companies, and it's revolutionizing how we approach lunar exploration. The CLPS program isn't just about outsourcing to the private sector, it's about fostering an environment of ingenuity and innovation, where American companies can apply their own engineering prowess rather than following traditional NASA processes. The objective? To develop lunar landers that are not only capable but also cost-effective. You see, lunar landers are like the taxis of space. They ferry scientific payloads from Earth to the Moon's surface. But building a lunar taxi is no small feat. It requires a blend of advanced technology, scientific knowledge, and a whole lot of creativity. 
This is where the private sector comes into play. Companies like Intuitive Machines, creators of the Odysseus Lander, are stepping up to the challenge. They're crafting the next generation of lunar landers, designed to not only reach the moon, but to do so in a way that's financially sustainable. The CLPS program is a testament to the power of collaboration. By joining forces with the private sector, NASA is leveraging the best of both worlds, the innovation and efficiency of private industry and the scientific expertise and experience of a renowned space agency. This program is a crucial part of NASA's strategy to return to the moon. While NASA is gearing up for a lunar landing, it's important to note the global context of this mission. The 21st century has seen a resurgence of the space race, with China, India, and Japan already making their marks on the lunar surface. China's Chang'e program has not only achieved a soft landing but also brought back lunar samples, a feat last accomplished by the Soviet Union in the 1970s. India's Chandrayaan-2 mission, despite a last-minute setback, provided invaluable data about the moon's surface and exosphere. And let's not forget Japan's Kaguya spacecraft that orbited our celestial neighbor, gathering detailed information about its topography and mineral composition. The moon has become the new frontier in international space exploration, a proving ground for technology, ingenuity, and national pride. The stakes are high and the competition is fierce, but it's not just about planting a flag or leaving footprints. These lunar missions are paving the way for future space exploration, opening doors to distant worlds, and pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and capabilities. NASA's upcoming mission, therefore, is not just about reaching the moon. It's about demonstrating the prowess of American science and technology, about rekindling the spirit of innovation that once put a man on the moon, and about regaining a leading position in the global space race. NASA's upcoming mission is not just about reaching the moon, it's about regaining a leading position in the global space race. As the countdown to launch day begins, expectations are soaring. We've journeyed through the highs and lows of lunar exploration, from the unfortunate Peregrine mission to the promising Odysseus project. With each step, we've learned that space exploration is a challenging endeavor, but one that sparks the human spirit and pushes us to reach beyond our limits. Let's take a moment to reflect. The Peregrine mission, despite its failure to complete its lunar landing, was a testament to the tenacity and perseverance of the space exploration community. Astrobotic Technologies efforts, supported by NASA's funding, signaled a shift towards privatization in the space industry, a trend that continues with the upcoming Odysseus mission. The Odysseus spacecraft, named after a hero of Greek mythology known for his resourcefulness and leadership, represents a new hope in our quest for lunar exploration. Developed by Intuitive Machines and scheduled to launch aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, this mission exemplifies the spirit of collaboration and innovation that drives the space industry. If successful, Odysseus will be the first American spacecraft to land on the moon since the iconic Apollo 17 mission in 1972. These individual missions are part of a larger initiative, the Commercial Lunar Payload Service or CLPS, a NASA program that encourages private companies to develop lunar landers, fostering innovation and cost efficiency. The success of Odysseus is not just a win for Intuitive Machines or NASA, but for the entire program and its future prospects. Yet the context of these missions extends beyond the United States. We're part of a global space race where nations like China, India, and Japan have already achieved soft landings on the moon in the 21st century. This international competition fuels advancements in technology and science, propelling humanity forward in our understanding of the universe. Whether or not Odysseus will successfully land on the moon remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the space race is far from 